I'm out here testing out my brand new piff pack that I just made, designed by Hannah Perner Wilson, and uh, some fun little modifiers. Part of a thing we've been working on of how to make a wearable studio, a whole electronics or sewing or mold making or whatever you want to build studio that you can bring with you outside anywhere. Um, so I'm in Singapore right now and I'll guide you a little bit through my very first prototype. Uh, so before we even open it up, let's just check out the basic outsides. It's pretty smooth and plain, uh, which I really like, so I can shove it into a different backpack if I need it. If I have my really big hiking backpack, nothing's gonna get really caught on anything. Um, it's all just pretty plain like that. Hannah's original design has ropes that go up this back part that keep the backpack off your back, keep you a little uh, cooler, uh, drier, less really gross and sweaty. Um, I kept some of those ropes, but uh, instead I added my own straps, as you can see here, uh, that uh, I, I also just put camera straps onto uh, these uh, uh, regular straps uh, to make it a little more comfortable. And I'm surprised how much it just feels kind of like a regular backpack. This is the biggest sewing project I've ever done in my whole life. And uh, it actually came out kind of great. Uh, thanks for the great instructions, Hannah. Um, so these straps are attached down here at the bottom. Uh, down here at the bottom, they have a little clip so you can quickly undo them and you can also adjust their length. Oh, we have all this extra length of strap and it just kind of seems to go into this weird little hole up here. What could that be about? Maybe it's a secret for later, who knows? Um, one challenge I've been having with this design right here for the strap is the strap, when it goes through this hole, it kind of bunches up and you'll see your reasons why it's bunching up in a little bit, but I tried to reinforce uh, that hole anyway. And I just have a carabiner that holds these ropes in place uh, in case I need extra rope uh, or just a nice extra way to hold it in the middle. So without much further ado, let's actually open this bad boy up. So I'm just gonna find a nice tree around here. There's a cool cannonball tree here. Uh, it even has little baby cannonballs on it. And I'm just gonna take, again, this is another camera strap. This is what I ripped uh, the other ones off of. And I'm going to swing it around. And the whole backpack hangs up right like that. Right now it's about in its position where it's about ready to deploy. Uh, let's check it out. There's a Velcro closure at the top. I'm actually gonna keep that closed a little bit while I undo the side zippers. Which, which ring this uh, thing is attached to. So this top section is where I can keep lots of quick, readily accessible tools. Um, they're held in by magnets or elastic straps, got multimeters, got uh, ant aspirators sucking up insects, measuring tapes, uh, wires, different Arduinos, breadboards, all that kind of stuff, very nicely organized, um, and it's great. One of the main modifications that I added to Hannah's Piff Pack, though, I'm really excited about showing you, uh, which is this. So, I took these backpack straps, I've loosened them, and if you noticed before, they just went through the top here. So, I'm just getting those nice and loose, then, I pull 
this organizer to the side really quickly to reveal what is this? It's a whole table that just folds down. You got a work surface that deploys right out of your studio. So not only do you have all your stuff readily accessible for you there, you have a nice little platform that you can actually hold pretty heavy stuff on it. Um, Cause it's all just intention. It's all pulling back on the tree. Um, I can put a decent amount of weight. It's pretty stable. Um, I can toss big heavy things on top of there. Um, set up a little soldering station if I want. Uh, and I even have a light that turns on to help you see what you're doing because it gets dark in the jungle. Um, so this is pretty cool. Some of the things that I really like about this design is it's very quickly deployable and you still have all of your stuff right there for you. Um, the holes that I pass this through, the, the cord gets kind of squinched up and right down here at the edges, it also gets a little bit jumbled. Um, but uh, overall it works pretty good. Um, another nice bonus of this is when it's up and hidden behind the organizer, it actually adds kind of a frame to the backpack and it lets you kind of, it makes it a little more sturdy. Uh, the backpack doesn't squish up as much. It gives the backpack a little bit of structure. This board is a really lightweight, um, it's just aluminum uh, composite with plastic in the center. Uh, you can get these uh, panels at this great store in Berlin called Modular, and uh, they sell them. They happen to be exactly the same size to fit inside of the Velcro in Hannah's original Piff Pack design. So I took that, I cut some holes in the edges, passed the webbing through it on one end. It goes up, it goes to your backpack straps, and then on the other side of the backpack, there's a loop that comes down right here. And the bottom of this panel has some notches in it and another hole so that it actually sits in there and it forces it to kind of go back against the tree and create a real nice stable surface. And it all slides through. If it gets a little wonky, you can pull this side through, straighten it out a little bit. Um, it all works quite nice. Um, way better than I would have thought. And so this is cool. So you still have all of your tools up here and around. You can access the tools below it. Uh, one thing it gets a little in the way of is your components. Um, but what you can do is you can take out these component boxes because you can't use them when they're stored anyway. You can take them out, set them on top, and now you're actually able to work with those component boxes and build stuff right there whenever you need it. So it's kind of serving dual duty um, and not really hindering these component boxes much at all. So other than that, I'm gonna do a more close-up tour of the entire thing. So this is an up-close tour of the Piff Pack. Up here's the top. It's got these rings that just string around the tree hold it in place really nice. Strip of Velcro helps close it up. Um, fun little picture of me, Hannah, and Brian, and Madagascar, personalize it a little bit. Um, along the top sides, there's a bunch of different pockets, each with different superpowers. I'm not really good at elastic, and all my elastic's pretty saggy, but I just store lots of little things you might want easy access to. Um, there's a lot of these pouches that have an elastic band at top, but then they have this nice uh, power mesh uh, that holds stuff in pretty well. Uh, my favorites are, I put these really strong magnets in here like Hannah suggested, and you can put something like uh, big heavy shears inside there and they don't move around at all. They really just lock in place. It's solid until you really want it, and then it goes, so got some scissors in there too. Insect aspirator. Um, also have another supplementary light source in here with a battery pack. So 
This is a string that can come out and I can light up a whole area. It can be really useful at night and also just look kind of nice. In the middle, these are all these little organizers. One thing I did different than what Hannah was doing in her original design is I just took one big sheet of the power mesh and sewed it to this piece of ripstop. And then I sewed across a bunch of pieces of elastic and then just started sewing all along this piece in a grid-like formation until uh, at the end, I just had to cut these apart. I'm not sure if this was actually easier if I'm just a sloppy sl sewer and that's how it worked out easier for me, but it worked out somewhat okay. Um, these pockets are really nice. I have lots of stuff in there, uh, little breadboards, uh, light up gizmos that respond to sound and movement, uh, speakers, measuring tape, uh, duct tape, all kinds of tape, little Arduinos, um, servos, pretty much anything I want uh, to organize and build stuff with. Um, over here, even more pockets. Uh, again, more magnets. This one you can more plainly see. I tried doing something like the gridded organizers that you see sometime where you have woven elastic going in and out and you can just like, ooh, wrap things in all kinds of different ways. It didn't really work out so good. I have a pair of pliers that hangs in there, but everything's pretty loose and sloppy. Um, so I would just, I wouldn't really recommend it. Or maybe if you're better at working with elastic than I am, uh, it's good. I have a little breadboard watch uh, in there that Hannah made. And then down here, this is the component pouch. That's where I brought these component boxes out from and they normally hang out there when the bag is closed. But in the front, it has some nice big pockets for some uh, uh, copper tape, some vials. I have the handy reference chart here as well. Um, so I can just pull that out. It compacts really small, but if I need to reference, you know, oh, I forgot what Ohm's law is, or uh, what are the pins on a transistor, uh, I can pull that out and check it all out. Um, over here, and pretty much the whole bottom part, Hannah has a couple different designs uh, for adding stuff to the bottom of your piff pack. She usually has a very large sack right here that also has a nice handy zipper on the outside of the pack. I got a little bit lazy and was a little daunted by how big the project was anyway. And so I tried to come up with a couple different cheats. One was snap buttons. So I just took some of these really cheap uh, PVC or plastic um, zipper pouches and I just put some snap buttons in there and they hold really well. Um, so it's pretty sturdy and I can put things pretty much anywhere I want. Another thing that I tried was in these, what I consider the deluxe PVC zipper bags, the ones that zip this way and then zip that way you can actually open it up enough to just sew it straight on. So I just shoved my sewing machine in there and sewed this bad boy right on there. This is kind of nice because I could do something like add another zipper there and have this be accessible from the outside, kind of like uh, how Hannah's pack works too, if I want. Um, so that's a potential future design. Over on the sides, I got even lazier and just sewed big, strong Velcro on the sides and then sewed Velcro to some of these pouches. So in this one, I have like a small Dremel tool. Uh, down here, I have a little deployable solar panel uh, that can come out, catch some rays, power my electronics and whatnot, wherever I'm at. And then down here, I started experimenting with just sewing uh, some Velcro onto big elastic bands so I could hold like big containers. So this is just a little Arduino project I was working on with something. Um, this is one's empty. I can add something in there. Uh, but just just kind of random stuff you could add um, to this now that you have this big piece of Velcro on it. 